In today's video, in this video right here, I had wanted to go on this cross-country flight. I woke up one morning and I was on Google Earth. I, I found a spot that, that's relatively close by. It's about 20 miles away. While looking on Google Earth, I thought that looks like an airport, but I didn't know about this airport. It was a private airport in the middle of nowhere. And I don't want to give away too many spoilers because I'm going to show it in this video that you're seeing right here. But as a thank you to you guys, I want to give away a snap mount. The guys over at Snap Mount like hooked it up. And I have a lot of fun with it. I wanted to touch really quickly on the idea of cross-country flying with paramotors. Every once in a while, it's like one of those things you just want to do, especially if the destination is exceptional, like this place you're about to see. However, there just the the idea of taking a paramotor to do any sort of destination flying. Mm, logically, it doesn't make sense to me, but it doesn't mean that you wouldn't enjoy it. Just for me personally, I find it a very, very slow way to get to a place where you're going. On a paramotor, you're not going very fast. You're doing maybe 30, 40 miles per hour, and a car is doing 70 miles per hour. The thing about flying cross country on a paramotor is that we are always flying within a certain time window, at least those of us who adhere to this, you know, respect for the weather, you know, I accept risk in other ways, like I fly low, which granted there is an increase in risk, however, the, the risk is very calculated. I cannot control the weather and neither can you. Risk mitigators, we mitigate risk by not flying as late into the morning as uh, you, you would with a hang glider airplane, a traditional airplane or a helicopter. I mean, you're not really feeling threatened by thermals in these other forms of aircraft. However, with a paramotor, thermals like thermic activity, if you were to fly without the motor in traditional free flight paragliding, those thermals are like your best friend. And so flying later into the day may be in, in a paraglider, a free flight pilot's best interest. However, when it comes to flying a paramotor, we can reduce the risk by just waking up earlier or not flying as late into the day. That's why if I was to fly this location again, I'd wake up early, drive there so that I can leave before the sun comes up and then get the smoothest air. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video because ultimately it was uh, a lot of fun. Welcome, welcome ladies and gentlemen. This is the cross country flight that I have been really, really looking forward to. We are headed north towards Las Cruces. There is a farm about 20 miles away where there's this magical runway that apparently very few people know about, but it is in the most gorgeous setting. I think it's one of the biggest pecan farms in the world and they have over 180,000 trees producing 10 million pounds of pecans every year. We're flying there. The runway is at the top of this lava flow. Can you believe that? I'm so excited. We've got Clint in the lead flying the APCO F1. I'm here in the middle, followed closely behind by our friend Michael. Michael and I are flying the same paraglider. We have the Dudek Universal, though mine is quite a bit smaller, so therefore I should be a little bit faster on it than him as I am more heavily loaded on it. Here we are, we're arriving on site of the Rio Grande, the river that is not a river right now, there's no water in it. <laughs> so we're just using it as a, 
is a reference. Today we've got nothing but beautiful landscape. Holy smoke, springtime in El Paso, Anthony, New Mexico area. We are transitioning from Texas to New Mexico right now. Maybe we can circle back and go see Michael real quick. There he is. Oh, what a, what a nice day. My goodness. Holy smokes, man. I think we're going to need to let the trims out, get a little bit more speed now to catch up to Michael, because he is faster than me. He must be trimmed out quite a bit more than I am. All right, ready? There it is. I've got the trim set to about 13, 14 right now. And so what that means is I'm only going to be using my weight shift. In spite of it being really smooth right now, when you let this reflex glider out, you're not supposed to mess with the brakes too much. It's going to increase my speed, but the, the trailing edge of the glider becomes more susceptible. You don't want to throw off that reflex profile, from my understanding. Wow. Woo! Yeah. Michael's getting it. I tell you what, that is a beautiful shot right there. Wow, Clint's way up there. He's uh, clearly not going to wait for us. He's on a competition glider. That's an, a non-rated glider, I believe. If it's not, correct me in the comments, if it's not non-rated, it's an END. So here's how this works. The current rating scale makes it very challenging to accurately rate paramotor gliders or gliders that are intended for paramotors. So the glider that Clint's on doesn't actually have a rating like this one does. Uh, does that mean it's not safe? No, it just means that the testing methods aren't really accurate for flying paragliders with an engine, uh, you know, under power. Where are we? This is a cool spot too. Looks like a little racetrack. We're going to go ahead and dip it on down even lower. Wow, this is cool. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzers. All right, I'm actually pretty fast. That's exciting. Check this out, man. Woo! Beautiful. Conditions are so calm down here today. I guess I dressed appropriately. Haha. -ha. Wow, check it out. Are these geese? Are we flying with the geese right now? How cool. Holy smokes. Check this out. Oh, look at this lava. It just stopped. It was like oozing out of that volcano. It's a shelf. It's a volcanic shelf with a runway on top of it. What the hell? That is so cool. Holy crap. Check this out, let's ride the shelf. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. How exciting, yeah! We're coming up on the airport, the lava flow. Oh my gosh, somebody in the comment section come up with a nickname for this airport. It is way too cool. Look at it. Look at all this lava. What? Are we in Hawaii? <laughs> oh, uh, e. oh, yeah. We're going to the runway. Yes. Okay. Okay. Lava rock everywhere. Oh, we're going down the runway. Oh, this is so cool. Here we go. Oh, lava flow tower. This is paramotor. Oh, uh, whatever you want me to be. Oh, we're doing it, we're doing it. Yeah. Yo, Clint, you, whoa, yeah, buddy. Now, I'm gonna show you the coolest part of this whole thing. Oh, we are on this shelf. It is a little bit wonky, 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 woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Damn, we're moving, huh? Yo! <laughs> Yeah! Whoa, the Oregon Mountain backdrop with a sea of trees! Runways! Perpendicular runways! Holy cow! Holy smokes, dude! Oh, yes. Okay. I'm going to show you the coolest part of this whole thing right here. 
Check this out. I'm going to dip it on down low. This is so exciting for me. You have no idea. Check this out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Perpendicular runway right here. Here we go. Perpendicular runway. We're turning down the other runway. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at this. This is the coolest place ever. I'm flying down the middle of this like remote runway. Holy smokes. Oh no, oh no. We're reaching the end of the runway. We don't have enough speed. Oh no. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Ah, oh, crap. Ah, no runway. Ah, ah, I don't have the speed. No, here we go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at this runway. Yo. Dude, it's just at the top of this lava. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Yes, look at it. We're all going to cross. Yo. Yo. All right, Clint's out of here. I don't know what the wind is doing. Does this even have a windsock at this airport? Epic! Look at this. Oh, oh my gosh. It's just so cool. Look at those crop dusting planes. Another infinite runway. That is that what we're going to call it? The infinite airport? Oh my goodness. Check this out. This is so beautiful. Holy crap, I don't want to crash. <laughs> wow. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah, I'm on my way home. I should be home in like 30, 30 minutes or so. I'll let you go. I'll see you in a little bit. Holy smokes, everybody. Thousands of feet up over the far west side of El Paso. That was quite an experience going all the way out there to that airport on top of a lava flow. Really, really interesting. Hopefully these cameras picked up a cool perspective for you. If you did like it, hit that like button. It helps me out big time. Oh, you stupid camera, get the hell out of here. Did I break it?